Good of our viewers, this is Satellite Media. Mr. Rafa Boji, let us look at the decision of Sunday Bo to submit later to the Prime Minister of Britain. And from what we are seeing back here in Nigeria, the British Embassy is advising the Yoruba nation agitators to unite with other Nigerians and move the country forward. We understand that uh, self-determination is a right of everybody, and we saw Brexit. Nobody advised Britain to remain in the European Union. Why are they now forcing or advising the robot dictators to remain in Nigeria? And you, you are giving me a good point. You are even regurgitating <laughs> for me what I, I should say, you know, and tell my, our viewers. Because uh, Britain is uh, bent on trying to recolonize Africa. I can see that uh, they are not done yet with their colonial, uh, you know, uh, ideology. agenda or ideology. Then uh, we call it imperialism. Because what is going on in this contraption is that Britain is in control after giving us uh, independence in 1960. Every Nigerian we thought that we are free, yet we are not free. Britain are at the back door, remoting Nigerian political classes, telling them what to do. Yes, if not, if they are actually in control of Nigeria, you and I will never be in this situation. Britain is in control here. How do you think that when Britain was here, we were feeding fat? We were living well, better. We were better off educationally, economically, and otherwise. But today that Britain is not here, our uh -uh, enemy that have come and blundered everything in Nigeria are absent. Still, we have been degenerating, degenerating on geographical, geographical what progression. We are going down drain, down to the mud. What does it mean? It actually means that Britain has not gone yet. Britain is still in control of all their colonial regions in Africa. They are in control of West Africa, absolutely, together with France. And today we are seeing France retreating a bit. Britain has never retreated since 1960. Britain has succeeded on laying pipeline, gas line, from coastal line of Biafra to Mediterranean Sea. And that pipeline, gas line is going. What? Moving forward to the UK. Yes, they are trying to neocolonize us again. In fact, we are on the era of neocolonialism. What actually is going to come out absolutely is recolonization. That is when it will dawn on us that we are still under Britain. What are we, am I trying to say here? Igbo is a leader in Yoruba land. He's a leader. The leader of Yoruba land, as I'm talking to you, is Finitiri, Abiola's wife. Igbo the freedom fighter. Recently, we, 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 we learned how Igbo went to number 10 Downing Street, the residence of, the residence of uh, British Prime Minister. He went there with petition, to petition Nigeria, to petition Britain, actually to allow Yoruba to see the way from Nigeria. We actually saw what transpired at the entrance of the number 10 Downing Street, Westminster. Igbo was prevent, prevented from going in actually they allowed him to enter at the end of the day what happened in nigeria here the british high commissioner in nigeria went against secession seeding of yoruba nation from nigeria the ambassador advised yorubas to stay with other ethnicity who tells the ambassador the, the british ambassador that other ethnicities in nigeria are happy in this contraption who is telling him who is feeding him the lies i think britain constitutes 95% of all their colonies in Africa. What is going on here economically? Britain is number one, as a matter of fact. Because we are not living well today. It is Britain that is sabotaging our economy, using all manner of unqualified, clueless politicians. Bring them to the leadership of the country, and from the back, they are milking our resources. That's why they have not seen anything right for Igbo to move forward with his agitation business. But if you ask me, I will tell you that submitting petitions to British when they want to, when Igbo want to start his agitation business is subjected to what? Dangerous error. Why? Britain is not the one that will give you referendum. Britain is not the one that will give you freedom. Britain did not give Nelson Mandela freedom. South Africa, they were there in pain, riddling in pain under the what? The, 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 the Bola or the Boa, Boa, Boa regime, yes, I think, yeah, Boa regime of apartheid policy 
and the segregation uh, ideology. Britain was there. Mandela fought and fought and fought, was incarcerated for 27 years until his release in 1989. He moved on and achieved what he wants. America did not give him. Britain did not give him. What are we saying? Going to British, the home of the British presence, uh, 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 Prime Minister, if you ask me, <laughs> if you have spent many things about Odurua agitation, I think they can come out on their own. They have their rights. Okay, now because when uh, Britain wanted to exit the European Union, nobody advised them to remain in the European Union and move the European Union forward. So, does it mean the argument that Britain is benefiting from Nigeria, that they didn't want Nigeria to become one, to remain one, does it mean that argument is potent? Yeah, 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 yeah. They say, let me tell you, uh, it is not. Uh, it is not. The British people. Government, you know. Somebody said they are making Nigeria. That is why. No, 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 no. They are making Nigeria. I know. I'm coming to that. You know what? The British man you see is a subtle man. British man, English man is a crafty man. They come out always with all scheming, all manners of you know crafts to make sure that they subjugate the African, the Africans, and take over the whole regions from where you know the, the whole regions. They, they mounted on, they infiltrated all manners of imperial pain, imperialistic pain in the past. And today they have seen that Africa are, Africans are waking up with intellectual giants. And today they are using most of the unqualified, clueless, incompetent leaders, political leaders, to subjugate the intellectual ones in Africa so that they will have upper hand milking our mineral resources. That is the reason why they see it, it is right to see the way from European Union. And they see it, it is wrong for Igbo man to see the way from Nigeria. So Britain is not, our problem. Not is even lobbying the, uh, the uh, Britain. No, 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 no. The North you are talking about, the majority in the North are the house house. The, the other tribes like Bari, Nupe, Kanuri, oh, they are, are the second. The Fulanis are the one lobbying the British, British people to hold everybody together. Why? The Fulanis, they come from Futajelo, Senegambia. They are the stranger we have in Nigeria. Fulanis are not among the ethnic cities in Nigeria. What we have is, major ethnic we have in Nigeria are Igbo, Hausa, and Yoruba. We are the three people, persons that own Nigerian region. The Fulanis are visitors. They came here 1802, 1804. They use their religion and subjugate of uh, 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 subject the outside locals, subjected them to all manners of humiliations, brainwash them using their religion, Islam, claiming that Islam is better than the house's religion. And today, we've gone this land to understand that Fulani has virtually taken over the whole political arena in the northern Nigeria. If you see a strong politician in the north today, mark my word, is a Fulani man, not Hausa man. They have reduced Hausa man using their Islamic Arabic ideology, bringing them down to believe that going to school, studying in the Western countries of Europe is an abomination to Islam. That's why Fulani is ahead of all of them. And today, Fulani, they are busy reading in America, reading in Europe. If I tell you that, if you go to the North today, the most educated people are the Fulanis. Fulanis from Mauritania, Fulanis from Mauritius, from Morocco, from Niger, from Chad, from Sudan, they have all seized northern region of Nigeria because that region is an arable land. They are good on cultivating, uh, 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 cultivating the land, coming out with all manners of farm produce. There, they but, have Ghana, they have the, What be the interest of the Fulani to keep Nigeria one? What are you saying again? People that are visitors, they want to be benefiting from mineral resources. They want to be part of the. Uh, uh, part of the crude oil. That is their own interest. They don't have a home of their own. If you say that you go to the plan, we go into desert because they they all migrated from Sahel countries. Okay, because they don't have a home. That they don't right. have a home. They are the nomadic people. They are homeless people. They are the warlords. So many Nigerians were to divide. They will leave Nigeria because they will leave Nigeria and go because Hausa will leave them in, uh, uh, give them any land to them. If Nigeria divide today, Hausa will go and hold their country after election in the Hausa states. They will win, Hausa will win, and Fulani will find nowhere to hold. Okay, if Nigeria divide, the Fulani will move away from Nigeria. They are wanderers. They wander from place to place. They don't have a, a permanent stay. They are names. They are the nomads. They don't have a place. They are in Mali. They are in Congo, Mombasa. 
They are in Central African Republic. They are in Northern Nigeria. They are everywhere in Africa. They are wanderers. They wander from place to place. Before our current modern history, the Flanis are among the vandals. The people call vandals in those days. Yes, they move from place to place, destroying people's land, mounting on people, take their property, fight you and put you to sword. They are the former vandals in the olden days history. Today in our modern history, we see them as husbandry people, people that rear livestock from place to place. Fulani, they, have, they don't have hope in Nigeria. They are visitors. Okay, finally, if you are to advise the Fulani in this regard, see that the Biafras are ready to go. Uh, the Oduduwa are making efforts in their own, uh, from their own perspective. What would be your advice to the Fulani? Uh, my advice to the Fulani is that uh, the way, my solution now is, the way Buhari, after rubbishing Nigeria for eight years, after putting us to this hardship, Buhari actually found out that later in the days, Nigerians are going to find out his identity. You know what? He absconded into Niger. He built mansion there. He's living there now, now, now. My advice to the other planet is that they should put themselves together and do what? Turn to their left towards River Niger. River Niger took, takes its course from Senegambia. Are you listening to me? They match with their livestock, all their animals. Following River Niger and end up at Futajelon Highland of Senegambia. That is my advice to them. So that so they should, from there, they should relocate to, they the, should relocate to, to their the origin, to their origin, where they come from. Their DNA is traced to Futajelon Highland. DNA doesn't tell lies. Planet should relocate and leave Nigeria alone. Thank you very much, Mr. Rafumichi.